Hello everyone and welcome to this round of Ed Talks. We have with us today Dr. Polo Augusto from Kent State University. Hi Polo. Hi everyone. How are you doing? Very well. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you for coming to India. This is your first visit to India, right? Yes. Okay. All right, uh, Polo, uh, let's address graduate students, okay? Now, graduate students um, from India are very keen on artificial intelligence. That seems to be a very a trendy subject these days. And uh, it also talks a lot about the skills gap within that sector, seemingly across the world. Yeah. We also hear that um, generative AI being used in small and medium businesses has led to some 10% growth yeah, and productivity. Yeah. So also it seems to be used in various fields starting from agriculture to education to social work to healthcare in every sector. Yeah. So why don't you spill the beans on generative AI as a subject of study at the graduate level and MS in AI. Thank you. So I will, I will speak about the artificial intelligence as a subject to study in the context of the United States of America. Yes. Uh, uh, and and the, I think what you mentioned is totally true. Uh, artificial intelligence is taking over a lot of processes that the society, our society has, modern society has. So. Uh, uh, we see in business, we see in, in health science, we see in every every aspect of our life, we're surrounded by uh, uh, artificial intelligence being used to to improve the way that we, we do our current business. And I think there's a huge demand for skilled professionals in that, that area that are not only uh, uh, will help us develop the next generation of, of of artificial intelligence, there is a huge uh, gap in that area, not only to to learn, to, to create a new job, but actually to do research in that, that, that area as well. If you're, uh, especially you mentioned for grad students, not only to to acquire some skills to be, to, to get a good job, but also to acquire some skills to develop the next generation of artificial intelligence. So, and I think the United States has a unique position in this, in this, in this way, because most uh, of American universities are not only a teaching universities, they are really cutting edge research institutions. Uh, and I think that's a good mixture. When you're, you're learning about something uh, and side by side, we are, you are learning with researchers that are um, top in the top field of their field. So that, that's like, I think good combination. So is it just a trend? Uh, do you see it just as a trend or uh, do you think uh, uh, an MS in computer science would be a better bet for a student? Like, can you do a little bit of comparison between an MS in computer science and an MS in AI? How would it, how would both benefit? I don't think it's a trend like it's going to end. That's, I don't, I don't see that it's actually being incorporated in almost every aspect of our lives. So uh, even though I, I, I still believe in the value of a computer science degree, I think it's very broad, broader than artificial intelligence. And computer science will include artificial intelligence. But if you want to go to more specific area, artificial intelligence is, is, is more keen to do research and to do the next generation, to develop new ways to deal with that. But if you're willing to go to computer science, there is other options as well that are actually trending right now cybersecurity, quantum computing right yeah uh, machine learning is connected with artificial intelligence but there's the hardware part of the software that we we also need to develop to accommodate uh the 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 needs for the next generation of artificial intelligence so so what would your suggestion be to students or when they choose their programs what should they keep in mind yep. when it is a when they are in a dilemma between a computer science an ms in computer science or an m in ms in ai i i i i will take uh, two steps two steps be, uh, behind behind because i think one of the beauties or one of the major advantages of us education model compared to other parts of the world is the curriculum of U.S. universities are more flexible, right? So even though if you're, I am, I want to go to study artificial intelligence, that does not mean that 
while you're studying artificial intelligence, you're not be, uh, there's a lot of possibilities for you to, to expand your knowledge, to study other things and actually finding your purpose. So I, I really like one word that is drawn from Japanese tradition, Japanese uh, idea that is ikigai, which means purpose. Yes. Uh, you need to find your, your own purpose and your purpose in terms of education is connected with, with at least some things, things that you're good at, things that, that you love to do it, things that the society need and things that you'll be paid to do it. So I, when you combine all those things together, you have your ikigai, your purpose. And I think uh, uh, American education is, is built surrounding this idea that you can find your purpose while you are there. So you, if you decide to go to artificial intelligence, you go there, but then you change, oh, I like cybersecurity more. You can change it very quickly without losing a lot of the credits you, that you already earned. Fantastic. So that's a lot of amazing uh, facts that we learned about American education. Okay, so you talked about jobs, you talked about purpose, yeah. you talked about money. Yeah. So what about employability of students, international students, after they do a master's degree uh, at, let's say, Kent State University? Yeah, okay. So I, I I'll say to you that uh, there is no parallel compared to about the return on investment in American degree and Kent State is part of that, that trend as well. And why is that? Because the skills you get, they're not only, I would say, not only uh, hard skills in terms of technical skills that you're going to apply to your job, but whenever you're going to work, whenever you're going to, to, to do any job, you're going to need some soft skills at the same time. And the American model and Kent State being part of that, we are keen to, to help you develop not only the hard, the hard skills that are needed for your job, but also the soft skills that are super important for your success. And, and having that uh, uh, will leverage your job, uh, uh, your potential job into the future. And if you take any number, any number uh, of employer, employment of our students, they're amazing i would say that, that not only they find jobs in their own fields so they they can they can connect with big opportunities they can also actually have a higher pay in, uh, because they're very well skilled and at the same time sometimes we think about jobs and we think about a traditional way that we are we working for a company established company the american a uh, system is different because there is also a lot of entrepreneurship mindset. So, uh, uh, and I will say that in the future, we are going to see more startup companies being made from the students. It's not that job seeking that I'm going to work for uh, Apple, Google. That's still going to happen. But I think a lot of our students are going to stop, start their own companies. And, and because there is this need to do that. And many big companies are outsourcing some of their process to smaller companies that are more agile and they can provide better solutions and in the short term period right. and a lot of our students can actually do that and it's going to be if if they're their purpose it's going to be better for them because they're going to have more flexibility more more uh, return on their on their investment so i think that's a lot of lot of and freedom to innovate as well oh yeah innovation is key to right especially in technical areas right because sometimes and we we are we are surrounded by innovation all, all the time and uh, oh the the trend as you mentioned before is artificial intelligence but the trend is now but we are we are actually forming our students to the future so we don't know what the future is going to be so we need to 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 give them uh, competencies to build the future that we want to be that's right that's yeah. right so with all this, uh, a student, let's say, chooses to study at Kent State University. They'll, of course, go to a Canham counselor, get advice. But I know that Kent State does offer scholarships. Yes. So would you want to say something yeah. about that? I think, I think Kent State is our mission as a university. It's a combination about excellence in education and affordability. We view ourselves in a, in a way that we, we need to provide an excellence education and research, but at the same time, we need to create pathways to make it affordable for as many students as we can. 
So we develop a very strong scholarship program at our university that any international students can achieve that from uh, $5,000 to up to $20,000 scholarship that will actually cut in less, more than a half the cost of, of, of getting the degree from Kent State. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you so much for all this information. Thank you. Thank you so much. And for you students out there, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you follow us on all our various socials to remain updated on the international education sector. And see you soon.